The Canadian Armed Forces CAF, tankers, as part of Operation Unifier, are actively engaged in instructing soldiers from the armed forces of Ukraine on the proper utilization and operation of the Leopard 2A4 main battle tank in combat scenarios. Operation Unifier is a CAF initiative designed to bolster the capabilities of the Ukrainian security forces. Operation Unifier is a long-term CAF mission aimed at providing military training and enhancing the capacities of the armed forces of Ukraine. This initiative was initiated in 2015, following a request from the Ukrainian government, and its extension until March 2026 was announced in 2023. Presently, there are more than 300 CAF personnel stationed under Operation Unifier, undertaking training and support roles, including assistance in facilitating the delivery of military aid. Since the commencement of Operation Unifier, the CAF has successfully trained over 38,000 Ukrainian military and security personnel, imparting invaluable knowledge in battlefield tactics and advanced military skills. As the mission has evolved, a considerable portion of the hands-on training has shifted to the Ukrainian armed forces, with Canadians taking on roles as advisors and mentors, actively participating in the creation of training programs. Between 2019 and 2022, Members of Operation Unifier also played a pivotal role in the Multinational Coordination Cell, MCC, which served as a platform for coordinating training efforts with partner nations in Ukraine. This involved the collaborative planning of training priorities alongside multinational allies, including Denmark, Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia, Sweden, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Canada distinguished itself as the first nation to deploy full-time staff to support the MCC. In the wake of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, certain elements of the mission were temporarily halted, with an unwavering commitment to resuming training activities as soon as conditions permitted. Training of Ukrainian recruits has since resumed with Canada currently supporting multiple training missions in the UK, Poland, and Latvia that teach both basic and advanced military skills to the armed forces of Ukraine. These include, recruit training, instructing in UK-led efforts to train recruits for the armed forces of Ukraine, combat medic training, instructing in Polish-led combat medic training with a focus on combat survivability, armored training element, instructing tank crews on the use of donated Leopard 2A4 tanks as part of a multinational effort, sapper training, instructing Ukrainian sappers on basic and advanced engineering skills, including demolition and demoning, and leadership training, jointly delivering junior officer leadership development training with Latvia in battle responsibilities, planning, maneuver coordination, and intelligence reconnaissance, and FEM 777 maintenance training, covering maintenance aspects from field maintenance to third-line maintenance on the M777A2 howitzer. Canada remains committed to continuing to provide Ukraine with the military equipment and training it needs to defend its sovereignty, freedom, and independence. Canada has also resumed its role in the coordination and planning of training, as well as helping to oversee efforts to supply and equip the armed forces of Ukraine, through its critical role as part of the Security Assistance Group, Ukraine, SAGU. Over 300 CAF personnel are currently deployed on Op Unifier. Since August 2022, approximately 180 CAF have been deployed to the UK to support the training of Ukrainian recruits. Since October 2022, Canada has deployed approximately 45 combat engineers to Poland to assist in the training of Ukrainian sappers. Since February 2023, CAF has deployed approximately 25 armored soldiers to Poland to assist in the training of Ukrainian crews. Since March 2023, CAF has deployed approximately 10 medical personnel to Poland to assist in the provision of life-saving skills to Ukrainian soldiers. Other personnel are currently stationed in Europe working with allies on a range of topics including the facilitation of military aid, alignment of future donations, as well coordination for the immediate and longer-term training needs of the Ukrainian forces. What are they doing? In the UK, the CAF is working with allies to train Ukrainian recruits in soldiering skills such as weapons handling, battlefield first aid, field craft, patrol tactics, and the law of armed conflict. In Poland, 
The CAF is providing training on a range of basic and advanced engineering skills, including engineering reconnaissance, the use of explosives for demolition work, and demoning, skills relating to the use and operation of the Leopard 2 MBT in combat, maintenance training for the M777A2 howitzer, and teaching advanced tactical medical skills to bolster the Ukrainian military's ability to save lives. In Latvia, the CAF is delivering junior officer leadership development training that will instruct Ukrainian junior officers on responsibilities in battle, the process of planning and orders, maneuver coordination, intelligence reconnaissance, and planning and execution. Past Efforts Between September 2015 and February 2022, 33,789 Security Forces of Ukraine SFU, candidates participated in training held in Ukraine. CAF assisted with the provision of 726 course serials spanning all lines of efforts. This number includes members of the National Guard of Ukraine, NGU. During that time, CAF provided training to 1,951 members of the NGU. From November 2014 to November 2015, Canada sent four major shipments of goods to Ukraine. The first shipment included cold weather clothing. It was sent in November 2014, via a Royal Canadian Air Force CC-177 Globemaster III. In January 2015, there were two shipments of non-lethal military gear sent by sea. In November 2015, the CAF helped the Government of Canada to deliver about $3 million worth of equipment for explosives disposal.